Hurricane Irma is still a major hurricane and is currently still spinning in the open Atlantic. I'm Brian Bogiano with your Citizens Florida forecast. I'm going to show you exactly what the storm has been doing over the last 24 hours. It's been expanding. You can see all this outflow here. It's extending from the center. And then you can see the center itself. This is a lot of deep thunderstorm activity. So this is a sign definitely of a strong storm. And it is a Category 3 hurricane. Hurricane. It is going to be making its way though to the south and the west over the next day or so. It's going to turn to the north by Tuesday and by Wednesday. It could be in the Leeward Islands potentially as a Category 4 hurricane. So significant impacts are likely as we go into Wednesday. It will continue to move to the northwest. After Wednesday though, we don't know exactly where it's going to head because it is too early to tell at this point exactly where it's going to go and what impacts it could potentially bring. Where it could be heading though between now and the next few days, models have it going to the west and the northwest over the next few days, generally having it just to the north of Puerto Rico by Thursday. After that, though, it could go anywhere. So still, once again, I cannot emphasize this point enough. It is too early to tell where the storm is going to go. It is a wait and see game at least for the next couple days. Now, as it moves to the northwest, for most of its time, it's going to encounter some favorable conditions. In fact, by Tuesday, most of the models hint that it's going to be in this pocket here of pink, which that means those are some pretty favorable conditions to develop. It means there's a lot of moisture, very warm waters, and very limited wind shear. It'll continue to move in this general direction over the next few days. And by Thursday, when it enters this pocket right here, that's going to be very um, likely for it to strengthen and develop even further further so it's going to be there's really not much holding the system back from strengthening so once again this could be a very strong storm by the time it approaches the leeward islands and potentially moves to the north through thursday this will likely be a very long lasting major hurricane in fact the models show that it is going to be moving to the west over the next few days gfs and euro are in pretty good agreement that by friday it's going to be near the bahamas after that, the agreement does go down a lot. There's still a lot of uncertainties of the forecast after Friday, which is why I'm emphasizing that it's still too early to tell where the storm is going. Still, though, checking on your emergency supplies would not be a bad idea. Now, as I said, Irma is likely to be a long-lived hurricane. It's likely to be a long-lived major hurricane. We do have a little bit of trouble though tracking right now. It's too early to tell exactly where it's going to head and exactly what specific impacts and strength it would have on the United States. But the main message is it is time to watch this. It's time to make a plan. And it's also time to make sure your emergency supply kit is ready to go in the event that a storm does threaten you. Whether or not this one does, this is still a good time to make sure all your plans are in order. And for more updates on Irma, you can download the Florida Storms app on your Apple or Android device. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and keep in tune for future tropical updates.